What's up everybody, this is Stephen Palomino for the AOC1 Project 2 review, term is 1401. I'm just going to go over the um, project questions real quick and, and go through the, uh, through the assignment. Uh, what did you do for your project? Well, we had to make four different methods um, and then call them later on outside of uh, the methods. And so... Um, it was pretty fun. A lot of things solidified for me. Stuff I was not understanding uh, came together and and uh, didn't have too much problem with it. Um, the videos were great and and just typing it out really helped helped me on realizing uh, there's a lot of ways to do things and and so that's it's a little bit more freeing now. Um, I'm not so stressed trying to figure out the right way, but um, just thinking of creative ways to to do different things. That, it's it's a lot easier when you're not when you know what you're doing mostly. Uh, explain how you used function separation to logically separate your application flow. Um, well, I guess it's there wasn't much of a flow since it was it was kind of different separated things, but definitely separating things out into four methods uh, helped helped it flow a little better for me just because um, everything's separated and so it was kind of more of procedure um, you know method one does this um, and then you call that later on and and so it really um, it was easier to debug because you knew what was going on where so that was that helped a lot with the flow um, list a few things that you think could use more clarification um, I'm still not a hundred percent sure about um, class and instance methods um, uh, from what I'm understanding, class methods are only used in that class. Um, I'll probably do some more research on that. But everything else was it was there was so much uh, awesome video material. Um, I love being able to go back and, and rewatch things. Um, everything is there's just so much information and it makes sense and and uh, it's just it's it's fun <laughs> so. Um, everything was pretty clear, so that was awesome. Uh, what do you think you could have done better? Um, probably, I'll probably go in through here. I've already turned it in and it's been created, but um, probably just going through and adding more comments. Uh, I pretty much already know what's going on and I've added a few comments, but uh, maybe just add more comments to, to really, if I come back later, really know exactly what's going on. Uh, I don't want to kind of pack everything with comments, but uh, probably some more comments. Uh, probably better um, well I think that's it. <laughs> uh, what do you think could have done better? I I'm really not sure. I think just because it's one of those things where you don't know what you don't know, and I don't know what uh, or what else I'm doing wrong. So um, I think uh, personally, I want to look more into each of the classes that are built in and kind of learn some of the uh, the properties that are attached to that. You know, some of the more uh, more used or more popular methods uh, properties and. Uh, I'd like to do that just personally. Um, I think that would help out a lot, um, and really just memorize it so I don't have to keep uh, looking back at other projects or videos. Uh, but for the most part, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory with the, the documentation and, and all the help. Uh, but let me show off the uh, uh, app here. Um, Everything is going through. I've got the two strings that aren't uh, that aren't hard coded into the method. Uh, they're just being called down here, and then I've got the two compare um, the method up here that compares two numbers. F coded. Um, if they are equal, it'll say that they're equal. If they're not, then this pop up won't come up. And then I've got the sum uh, method here popping up, and that's it. The fourth method was just the display. Uh, so. Uh, that went through. 
Uh, but other than that, I really enjoyed week two. I'm really looking forward to week three when we start uh, building the app and improving in week four. So I've really had a good time in this class. And thanks for watching.